I have to say, Sid's string bean garden is doing really good. Whatever this variety of string beans she got this time. I mean, can you see those? Look at the string beans down there. So whatever this variety is, we got to get it again. This morning, it just rained all morning. Nothing you can do about that. So I did little this and that, cleaned up around the house, construction zone, you know. And then this afternoon, I did a little more stuff. I uh, did some researching stuff I needed to look into. And I think this, uh, this afternoon, I've got to run over, back over to Potlatch to, I want to do a little uh, test area on the wall to show the guy who's doing the uh, joint compound, what I call mud, on the wall, because it's got to have a, like a glass finish. And the way he's done it, is going to require sanding and I don't think he's thinning his mud enough on the second coat to just fill everything in and make it like a glass finish so I think this afternoon I'm gonna run over there and uh, do that and then tonight we're having some uh, friends from uh, who are visiting from Boston over for dinner so then tomorrow hopefully tomorrow is not gonna be a rain day I really want to get what I've got left for wood uh, on the project. I've got two more sections of roof to finish off and I want to get those done so that way the guys can start putting on the roof shingles and because this is a new uh, roof they've never done I'm hoping that we'll start on the back that'll be the learning section and then we'll they'll learn through there where it won't be as noticeable and then we'll move to the front and hopefully in the next couple of weeks uh, the roofs will be probably eh, probably closer to three weeks, really. Uh, but then all the roofs, and there's a lot of roof. But hopefully the roofs will be on next week. Uh, not next week, three weeks. Yeah, I know, it's Sunday, but I've got, it's part of what I have to do. You know, when you're making sure everything gets done, you're the one who has to make sure everything gets done. So I need to make sure that the person I'm having understands what I want, or thusly, what the owner wants as a finish on these walls. So I could do it tomorrow, but it won't be dry. So it's better I, you know, take a few minutes, run up there, and then uh, have it done. That way, tomorrow he can take a look at it and say, oh, okay. Then I can also, because I've shown him, uh, you know, an example, if he can't do it uh, the way I need it, then I either have to say, look, you've got to do it this way. If you can't do it the way I want it done, then something has to give and uh, maybe I have to look for somebody else that I'm not sure of but this is how it's got to be done can you do it if you can wonderful there's plenty more of it to come if you can't then I got to look for somebody else but giving him an example will make it easier I think Just as a reminder, because I think it's important to do that, uh, we've gotten a lot of new uh, viewers, thank you, and hopefully there'll be more subscribers to this channel, but if you come down here, please make sure you drive on the left-hand side of the road. See, I've got, my car has a steering wheel on the right, but even if your car has a steering wheel on the left, then you want to make sure you are always driving whatever one it is on the left. Um, this is not the United States. 
it's still based out of, you know, England. So everybody drives on the left-hand side of the road. Stay to the left. What I call mud. And on the final finish, I just added some water to this. Not a whole lot, but some. So I like to thin this mud down. I got to mix it in. See how it's, it's a little bit tight. And I want it just, just like that. Okay, so I thinned out the mud, interior joint compound here, and this is what I want to use because I want that wall to be like glass without any little bits and pieces and scrapes and everything else in it. So I'm going to put it on and as it's thinner, it should smooth out wonderfully. Okay, it's really hard to see. I just finished that pullback. <clears throat> Okay, there's the section of wall that I just did with the uh, final coat of mud. And it's, it's really hard to see, but it's, it's got a nice flat finish. Is it absolutely perfect? Not absolutely, but it's got to be sponged down. And you'll see, well, hopefully you can see, there's very few... Uh, ripples, dents, anything else in it because of thinning out that coat and taking your time and putting it on. The little bits that are left, all we're going to have to do before painting is just take a damp sponge, go over the whole thing, and if there's any little pieces, they'll all blend together and the wall will come out pretty much just like glass. Then when you paint it, primer, paint it, it'll be perfect. That's how he's going to do it. See the issue? See how it's fat on this end and skinny? That's not gonna work. When I put the crown molding in this shower, it's gonna show up because of the lines. So what I've gotta do is I gotta take this wall and bring this wall out so that when it goes up, it's perfectly flat. And I don't know what happened. It was done by somebody else before we took over here. And I'm not one of those people who says, oh, they should have done it. I don't know what went on. All I know is I got to correct it now. Quite the difference from this morning, huh? With uh, two and a quarter inches of rain this morning and a beautiful afternoon. That's how it works here.